<laughs> Nobody want to talk to me. They want to celebrate. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Thank you. So Preston, you guys, you guys are on such a good run defensively. Obviously, Minnesota didn't go as you would hope. So, what's what's kind of the mindset, the attitude, the approach of the guys to, to bounce back from last week? Uh, you know, to, to regroup, refocus, and, and be better each and every week. You know, last week wasn't a reflection of who we are as defense. And it's not, it was a good thing to put on tape and out there on film. And it wasn't, it wasn't nothing nobody was proud of after the game. So we just, this week we've been fixing it, playing her at a higher level, make sure we get back to being us, and make sure we keep, um, go out there and make a lot of plays to help our team out. Preston, how would you describe Matthew Stafford as a quarterback? Uh, you know, just is what they call him, the gunslinger. Uh, Matthew uh, Stafford can make any throw. He can help his team. If you allow him to sit back there comfortably in the pocket, he can make every throw. He can dissect defenses. He can he knows know what uh, knows coverage as well, and he can make um, any throw to hurt any team. Hey, Preston, speaking of some rooms being light, your uh, meeting room's not exactly overcrowded right now either. Um, What's it just been like these last few weeks with everything you guys have dealt with and outside my back? Uh, it's been pretty spacious, first and <laughs> foremost. But um, but um, it, it, I think it's about like persevering, you know, and perseverance. Like you know, we all and throughout the league, you know, it's, you're gonna be faced with challenges and you know ups and downs. And I think it just you know it's gonna show a reflection in our room how guys come together, work hard, and you know we we don't care about the circumstances. We just got to deal with what we can control, focus on what we're controlling. Go out there and work hard. We know, you know, Rashawn's been hurt, um, and T was stepping up, and Bone, you know, Darius Hamilton stepping up, and, and guys have to. And then we just signed Nate Orchard, and uh, I think Jake, Jonathan, uh, whatever. You know, guys know they have to step it up and and do their best to help contribute in the best way as possible. They got to lock in, focus up, and make sure that when it's time to when their numbers called that they answer. Do you know Nate at all, or are you familiar with him? Who? Uh, I, I probably had a met Nate a few times. We came out together, so you know the combine and uh in the the week long at the Senior Bowl, you know been around a lot of guys, the, the best seniors in the country, and you know throughout that process and you know meeting guys and talking to guys and knowing about guys and just you know I guess meeting them. But I haven't had really long, that many long conversations with him. Seems like a great guy, hard worker. From him being in the room today, locked in guy, focused coach. Uh, knew him from his past. Or whatever. So I mean, just to have a, a veteran guy in the room who knows football and knows how to come in and work hard and knows what you know what's expected of him, that's pretty good too. Hey, Preston, I don't know how often you've been able to go up against Yash, you know, between the scout team or, or camp. But over the years, what have you kind of seen from him, and what kind of stands out to you about him as just a pass protector? Man, he has a lot of athleticism along with his size. Um, he's he's been improving ever since he got here, and. You, you see the steady strides and improvement, and then the coaches trust him. For them to have that trust, it means a lot. For, you know, when guys go down, you're the first man up, you're the next man up. For them to have that trust in you, it means a lot and speaks a lot for itself. But, you know, him, Yash, pretty athletic young guy. He um, He's molding well, and he, I believe he could be a, a good tackle in this league. Preston, I know um, Green Bay is no Georgia, but what does the rest of your Thanksgiving look like? What typically goes in your plate? And that's a great question. Um, I don't know. You know, I, I should have texted my wife if I knew you was going to ask that question. I'd ask what she was going to cook, and then I'd tell you what was going to be on my plate. But uh, <laughs> I like dressing. I'm, I, I like dressing, some mac and cheese. Um, you know, I'm a big size guy. You know, now, you know of course you got, to, you know, your turkey, but I'm, I'm a big size guy. You know, how, how do you, you know, the dressing and the mac and cheese and some greens, some collard greens. Yeah. I told uh, Adrian, Amos yesterday that I don't like my food to touch at Thanksgiving. Is that your, are you a mixer or do you want things separated all those sides? That's a little different, but um, I don't care if they touch, you know, because they're going to all touch on your stomach, so why does it matter if it touch on your plate? <laughs> <laughs> so they going to all meet together down there, so if they touch on your plate, it don't matter. It's going to be all together soon. So. <laughs>